Uh, this highlights something interesting, right? So if you're a startup and you need access to infrastructure, you need servers, you need network bandwidth, you need security features, cloud solutions are a great option, right? So we can deploy into Azure or AWS or Google Cloud, right? And once you deploy there, they have tons of features that you can take advantage of, bells and whistles. Most of those bells and whistles only apply if you stay entirely in that ecosystem. So if I'm entirely in AWS, I can have my servers running and my backups, and I can do geo-redundant replicas and use CloudFront and all this stuff that I wouldn't have in Azure. I'd have to use something totally different in Azure or in Google Cloud. So cloud vendors give us tons of functionality, but they also give us tie-in, right? Mm -hmm. they, they want you to stay in that one ecosystem. Now imagine, not, not like Parler, just imagine you're a regular run-of-the-mill company and you have one employee who goes a little rogue, right? And maybe spins up an AWS instance and starts running BitTorrents out of it, <laughs> right? So, uh, you know, hey, we've got our website and our databases and all that's running fine, but now in this VPC that I don't even know about, there's this BitTorrent client running. And uh, he's and, and making that money. <laughs> yeah, or, or, you know, just bootlegging videos yeah. or running porn or whatever it is they're doing out of there. And so I violate AWS's terms of service and so they cut me off, right? Mm. Well, with a flip of a switch, I just lost all my company infrastructure. Everything's gone, right? And if I'm if my backups are in AWS, <laughs> gone, right? Yeah. So you know that. What that, do I do, Don? <laughs> that highlights a huge danger. And then, yeah, what, what do you do now? Yeah. I will say, in the case of AWS, you could probably reach out and talk to people and so on. If it's Google, Google does not talk to their customers ever. Yeah. Literally, like they yeah. do not talk to their customer. So you have no recourse. No, wow. you know, if you're lucky, you can get an article promoted up on Hacker News until somebody <laughs> in Google notices it and says, oh, we look pretty bad this yeah. time. So, so this says, though, by Sunday, so I'm assuming in this case, they s didn't just cut them off. They said, we are cutting you off. They gave them 24 hours. You've got yeah. They okay. said, you've got 24 hours to move to another platform, which is oh, not, this realistic. Was, this yeah, was right. not realistic. This is not realistic. You know, the uh, whoever the CEO of Parler is, he, he came out and said, yo, we're fine. We're planned for this. We don't use yeah. any features that, that wouldn't run on bare metal. Uh, we'll, we'll be back up. We just right? got to go to another provider. But uh, yeah. he didn't make the 24-hour cutoff. They went offline. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, funny thing happened when that 24-hour notice went up. There were several security researchers who said, oh, Parler's going to go down. I we better scrape that data while we can. So I heard that that was a hoax as well. Yeah? Yeah, because apparently there was another parlor data scrape hoax that had happened earlier and then i heard somebody i'm not don't quote me on okay. this i'm just throwing this out there as a possibility i think someone was saying that that data scrape was also a hoax i'll have to figure it out because yeah, I'm, i want to look into that they're saying like 80 terabytes of data was able to be scraped yeah. off of parlor including private communications and deleted videos which would be personal pretty data uh, <laughs> hey, yeah that's valuable like, considering it's a free speech platform and people yeah. probably said all sorts of crazy things but well the other thing i was reading though too is that that they were using uh people were posting their videos and things of um, of the actual riot, and they were able to look at the metadata because they were posting just the oh, raw right. videos and things and say, yep, you were in D.C. on this date and this time, so I'm able to track that back to your account and yeah. and potentially you know use that in, in the FBI's ongoing investigation. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm, I'm pulling up on threat posts here where they're, they're citing um, the security reacher who goes by the name of Donk NB, sure. e -N -B -Y, nice. uh, like who that. she's the one who's been leading this to, to rip all the data, and she says she's setting up an archive that people have access okay. to, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. You know, yeah. it, Either way, like it's a fact. It, Parler is yeah. offline oh, they, right You can't go there. It's not there. And, and I've heard of other companies, like with G Suite, where something happened. If somebody sent out some spam, they violated a TOS, and G Suite was shut off for the whole company. Oh, and you know, imagine that, losing all of your email uh, and Google Drive just overnight. That you know, that I can see that hurting a business. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you talk about this, the only thing that I could think of as a comparison is companies that rely so much on their their search ranking. That you know, mm. we're a, a mom and pop shop, and we sell um, this product, and we're number one in this keyword, and so that's where our business is. And you do one thing that violates the algorithm for Google search query, all of a sudden you're you're blacklisted for X number of days or or permanently. And your business goes under. I mean, it's the same yeah. kind of mm. thing where you're held hostage to that. I mean, you have even less control in that environment because there's not like you can say, well, I'm going to move my stuff to Bing then. <laughs> Man, <laughs> because it doesn't a, work that way. It's a delicate balance, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, they, and they if if they change their algorithm, you, you don't even know that that's yeah. coming. And, and all of a sudden, like you said, Don, you cannot get a hold of someone I mean, at that, Google. That brings up an interesting idea of like. Let's let's forget the idea that you're getting, you know, snatched because you've accidentally or whatever violated terms of service. What if they change the way they do something and your whole business model is 
dependent on that yeah. that's how they do it and now that's changed well, to, what to, do I do to quote Wu-Tang uh, to quote Wu-Tang. you have to diversify, diversify. your funds yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do you do I uh-huh. see Wu- yeah. Wu-Tang on uh, Chappelle's show cash rules everything around me <laughs> that is true if you enjoyed that segment be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here and you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes I hope to see you there